This is a brief audio response to Stand in Stan's most recent video, in which he denounces Wendy Northcutt's widely popular Darwin Award series. I had formerly been a slight fan of Nor Northcutt's works. Though I read these books and their underlying theme of social Darwinism with some suspicion. I will now admit that I derived some amusement from the remarkably stupid or negligent deaths recorded in these volumes, but this doesn't excuse the fact that we are essentially mocking the grief of the award winners' families, whom are mourning the death, the death of a real human being. Now, after viewing Stan's eye-opening rebuke, I can understand just how callous and morally objectionable the Darwin Awards are. Wendy Northcutt, a graduate of UC Berkeley with a degree in molecular biology, may have had simple humor and education in mind for her readers, and in terms of the interesting scientific essays opening each chapter, she certainly succeeded. But she is still trying to promote tragic, often painful deaths in the bulk of her work as good for our survival, or good for the survival of the gene pool. Natural selection can, of course, be applied to Homo sapiens, to us but only to the extent that we are living animals like any other, and that every one of us may be able to handle environmental pressures slightly better or worse than others. For instance, people with asthmatic genes may not be able to survive in smoggy, pollution-saturated areas as well as those without asthma. Ergo, over many generations, the people without asthmatic genes would breed more actively, thus leading to a population of predominant non-asthmatics. Paradoxically, the sickle cell anemia gene confers a certain resistance to malaria in disease-stricken regions of Africa, as there are fewer red blood cells for the parasite to infect and destroy. As such, sufferers of sickle cell anemia have a distinct survival advantage over healthier people. Based on the evidence, it could be said that some people, some individuals, uh, can survive better in certain conditions than others just like any other organism, under natural selection. But Wendy Northcutt makes the fatal injustice of associating a less able person with inferiority. Northcutt presents these accidental deaths as the passing of effectively inferior people with no worth to society, and therefore publishes her works as unwitting vehicles for discrimination. I don't believe that Northcutt is a, well, a Hitler supporter or Nazist by any stretch of the imagination, but she does ultimately express similar callous, prejudiced, eugenic sentiments. Far from promoters of evolution or publications of enriching scientific knowledge, the Darwin Awards are a franchise of eugenics, painted and spruced up as acceptable. For this, they should be boycotted. I'm going to end this soon enough, as I do have a rather bad headache, but I have a couple of questions for Stan before I sign off. Stan, if you're listening, what do you think of the Funniest Home Video Show? The reason I brought this program up is that many of the featured videos uh, portray people, ordinary people, getting hurt or dazed in the process. 
We can watch a man stumble and fall down a ski slope, or watch a woman accidentally set her hair on fire while lighting a birthday cake, or an overconfident cat falling into the fish tank. Some of these scenes can be lowbrow and slapstick, but also amusing, even though the subject may get slightly injured. Does an injury preclude for you um, any humor in a funny video? Leading back to the Darwin Awards, it may be possible to laugh at, at to give you an example, a man who swam stoned off his ass with a killer whale, but the actual death and grieving family put this incident in a very sad, tragic perspective. Do you think it's possible, stand in stand, to laugh at the actions and the stupidity involved, but not the actual death? Well, thank you for watching. I look forward to reading your comments, and well, I suppose I'm, I'm hoping to hear from Stan uh, if, if he watches this video. Thanks again, and I'll see you later.